Today on Cooking with Wu, we are going to make iron hydroxide, which if you ever left any sort of metal or like your bike out in the rain for a couple of days, you know it's going to rust. Iron hydroxide is actually the chemical compound for rust. In order to make that quickly today, we have iron nitrate and sodium hydroxide, which will perform a double, double replacement reaction to make the iron hydroxide, which is insoluble, so it will form a solid and precipitate out. It will also make sodium nitrate, which is aqueous and is soluble, so it will not precipitate out into the solution. In order to do that, I already pre-measured 3.63 grams of iron nitrate in order to make a 15 milliliter one molar solution. I also measured out 0.6 grams of sodium hydroxide to make uh, 15 milliliters of this one molar solution. So in order to make the iron hydroxide, we would have to mix these two together. So now we're going to measure the, now we're going to mix the iron hydroxide, I mean the iron nitrate and the sodium hydroxide. This solid precipitate here is actually the rust, this dark red color. And the bottom is, as of right now, the sodium nitrate. As time goes on, it's going to separate more and more until this is the color of the solution, and the red precipitate sinks to the bottom. I actually have another product right here, which I did earlier. You can see at the top, it's already a colorless sodium nitrate, and the rust is starting to slowly sink down to the bottom. I don't know on camera if you can see, but at the very bottom you can see the rust particles. So now we're going to examine the product. So if we look, we made the iron hydroxide, which is three hydroxide ions with the iron, which makes up one iron atom, three oxygen atoms, and three hydrogen atoms. Together, they weigh a total of 107 grams. If we look at the percentage by mass of the iron hydroxide, the iron is, makes up 55%, the oxygen makes up 45%, and the hydrogen 5%. So when we look at this rust right here, most of it is actually iron, and then we have oxygen and hydrogen. That's all today for Cooking with Wu. Next time, we will look at copper and the Statue of Liberty. Hope to see you next time. Cooking with Wu is brought to you by Mr. Sullivan's Math Homework. At home or on the go, it's the only way to know that you know. And by hats. HATS! with further consideration by having trouble remembering all those difficult equations and vocabulary words? Does every class feel like this? Then you need flashcards. Flashcards are the exciting new way to help you remember difficult equations in math and science, vocabulary words in different languages, and important dates in history. Turn test taking into this. And that difficult class into this. Oh, you're so good! Flashcards. Flashcards. Cooking with Woo.